So hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today we're going to be unboxing the Master Detective Archives Raincoat Collector Edition. Uh, so I am a fan of Danganronpa and I decided to buy the game just normally uh, before deciding to pick up the Collector Edition because even though I'm a fan of Danganronpa, this is a completely new story with new characters. I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy it but I did so of course I picked up the Collector Edition so uh, yeah, let's uh, get this unboxed. First of all, let's start out with the box itself. Now, it's this very nice, like, shiny cardboard. Even though the box is kind of basic, it's nice. Like, the fact that, as you'll see throughout the unboxing, uh, they've used different artworks for everything, basically. So, um, this is one that's, that I've only really seen on the collector's edition with, like, all the characters. Um, just to spin around the box, it's just... Like I said, very basic. Uh, the back of the box is the same um, information as what's on the back of the game case. Uh, so yeah, on the side, bottom, and then on the top, of course, we have the main logo. Uh, so let's actually unbox this. So we open it up, and there's two uh, keys on the flaps, which are quite important to the game if you've played it. So the first thing we're going to pull out is... The Shinigami plush, so uh, let's open her from her plastic cage. So here we are, this is the Shinigami plush. Now I'm not sure if you can buy this uh, or any of these things separately or if it's only in the collect edition, but she does come with a little tag with just like health and safety things on there. Um, but yeah, she is actually like a really nice high quality plush, very soft, very squishy. Um, it's just very cute in general, like um, I would happily buy her even if she wasn't in the collector's edition. And the fact she can just kind of sit there with a tail hanging on the bottom, thats it, it's quite cute. So the next thing we're going to put out is the soundtrack called uh, Noise of Neon. Now I'm not sure if this is all the songs from the game, um, but I will say the songs are good. Like the Danganronpa soundtrack's good. I also really like this one as well, but yeah, that's got 10 songs on it. And unlike most unboxing videos, uh, I have actually opened it too, so I can show you what the disc looks like. Um, so yeah, that's what that says, just says Noise of Neon, just the uh, title of the soundtrack. So yeah, there's that. The next thing we're going to pull out is this little white box, which of course has the actual game. Uh, so this is the basic game that you'll get if you just order it normally. And like I said, on the back of the case is the same as the box. And then inside, of course, you get the game. And you also get a little digital code for a uh, novel, which of course has already been used. So you can try and use the code, but it's not going to work. Um, but yeah, there's the artwork for that. And then, of course, with this version, we also get this really nice, yet again, shiny steel book with, yet again, different artwork. I really like the fact that they haven't just, like, copy and pasted the artwork. So, yeah, there's the steel book, and then there's the inside. I'm not one who tends to use steel books, so this will probably just go on display as a nice little art piece. And then the last thing we're going to pick out is the art book. Now, yet again, not a lot of people who unbox collect editions actually show off what's in the art book because obviously there may be spoilers. So uh, I'm going to flick for it. So if you don't want to be spoiled for anything for this game, I suggest uh, clicking away now or until later in the video. So just to make things a little bit easier, I have moved my camera just to show off uh, the art book. So yeah, it looks like the Book of Dev, which is actually in the game. Um, and you also see a picture of it in this book. Uh, but table of contents, we've got the characters and locations. Uh, so just a little bit of writing about the game. Also, this is a brand new book, so the pages be a little bit difficult to flip. But yeah, there's our main two characters, Shinigami and Yuma. And then we move on to their actual like artwork and character design. See, there's the book, which is meant to look like the art book. And then we move on to the World Detective Organization, who are the main detectives in the game, um, who you'll meet all throughout it and I will say the character designs in this game are nice but some of the characters such as this one I kind of copy and paste from other Danganronpa characters like you can see where they've taken inspiration but it's more their personalities uh, where they shine through um, 
and then we move on to the peacekeepers who are kind of like the bad guys of the game yet again very cool design some of them are copy paste but yeah they're kind of cool and then we move on to the others which there's only two of them really um but they are two main characters who you meet yet again kind of looks like Chiaki um but she's a cool character in the game and then we move on to the locations now i will say my personal opinion of the game it is very pretty but on at least the switch um the graphics could be a little bit more desired personally like they could have made it look a little bit prettier but um honestly it kind of works for the game um but yeah it's it's very pretty looking game personally especially when you get to like the colorful bits like here and then yeah there's the artwork that's on the steelbook and then we move on to the mystery labyrinths which are honestly the best part of the game and honestly give me like persona 5 um vibes where you go into the uh labyrinths and stuff like they're very colorful very crazy um but this is where you solve the murder mysteries that have happened in the game and yeah it's just very cool and there we go that's the uh that's what's in the art book so yes that's everything that comes in the collected edition of rain code and personally it's a good little collected edition like it has a variety of things it's not just uh, the basic art book and soundtrack the fact it comes with a steel book and the little plush i think adds to it um and for only a hundred pound is regular retail price um it's not bad considering the game's like 40 pounds so it's not too much more expensive if you do decide you want out all the extras which is what i did um but yeah hopefully you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one